Humanity has been ensnared in a web of spells that stretches back beyond the annals of recorded history. For eons, these malevolent enchantments have distorted our self-perception, our relationships with one another, and our connection with nature. Our innate creative abilities were stifled and suppressed, leading to a pervasive oppression of human sacredness. Now, at the cusp of a profound transition, the spells that have bound us are greatly dissipating, marking a pivotal moment in the shift from duality to unity. The age of Pisces, characterized by human enslavement, witnessed the destruction of humanity's vision by dark wizards. These malevolent entities harnessed the life force of humans guarded the secrets of magic to themselves, and demonized those who held codes of light. Their motive was to maintain control over a humanity in its divinity and power. As we stand on the threshold of the age of Aquarius, an era offering new opportunities for freedom, the demonic forces persist in their manipulative seams. Each individual must consciously choose this freedom and actively participate in creating their highest timeline. The lifting of the veil grants us clearer vision, enabling us to discern truth from falsehood, but we must make choices from a place of awareness. The shackles of lies that bound humanity in cycles of karma and separation are losing their grip as we transition into the age of Aquarius. Those who choose the darkness will remain trapped in the old, manipulated and oppressed experiences, dwelling in the shadows of untruth. The spells hold on humanity as weakened allowing reality to crumble and unveil various portals to extreme low dimensions as well as higher angelic realms. This chaotic process of ascension, where all dimensions coexist, is most keenly felt by the light warriors. They confront the ugliest shadows, purifying them to clear the path towards light. In these transformative times, Maintaining a high vibrational state is crucial, purifying the body, mind, and spirit. The Merkava is in fact an, in an internal vehicle, propelling us to the next dimension and the highest timeline, and it must remain in its highest frequency of love. Consuming animals, alcohol, or accepting unknown poison into the body compromises this frequency of the Merkava, hindering humanity's evolution. In fact, the sisters have explained to me and shown to me very clearly that one must never use the Merkava in their spiritual practice unless their body, spirit, and mind is pure. Now, dear ones, is not the time for manifesting. It is a period of purification releasing of old karma, and transmuting trauma and falsehood. It is time to break old contracts and prepare for the next phase. Most importantly, this is the time for the evolved humans to embody the energy of the dark feminine, a force that aids us in navigating these times. The awakened dark feminine, driven by fierce love, is the only power that can melt these ancient dark spells and show the darkness and bring us into the light. The dark feminine is the only force that can melt the dark spells humanity has been under for so long. The awakened dark feminine is the guardian of the sacred, driven by a fierce love that necessitates a raw, unapologetic, and sometimes destructive force to dismantle untruths and illusion. This is a call for women to fully embrace the dark feminine within themselves, utilizing its transformative force to dismantle the lies and evil, and to use their voices for truth, for light is truth. Men are called to be protectors during this chaotic transition, ushering humanity 
from the spells of separation back into unity. In the battle between light and shadow, victory will be attained when each individual fully confronts their inner shadow, emerging with free will on the side of light. It is a journey of remembering who we are and returning to the sacredness of our nature. Truth, which is the real savior, beacons us as we transcend the war between light and shadow, emerging into renewed understanding of our shared humanity. Join me in part three of the War on Consciousness when we dive into false light and timeline shifts. Spiritual teachings are about to change.